Let's get right into it. There are two main ways to get rid of this malware, a manual and an automatic method. The manual method is the same as the guide we show on our website, but with one distinction. Sometimes the malware changes how it works, and it's just not possible to update this video. If the tutorial you see here doesn't get the job done, visit our website from the link in the description and look there. On the other hand, the automatic method is what I call the easy way, because I verified the malware can be removed with Spy Hunter. This will take as much time as a cup of coffee, scrape the thing right off your PC, and you get insurance that it won't come back because Spy Hunter will block it. You can sign up for a free trial, but if you buy directly, you get 15% off with code HTRG15 or by simply clicking the promo link in the description. If you want the future protection, purchasing the tool now to get the discount is definitely worth it. Here's how to set everything up. Click the link in the video's description, download and run the Spy Hunter installer, and then just follow the prompts. Once the installation finishes, click the buy button in the top right and you'll be given the option to choose between starting your free trial or directly purchasing the tool. If you go for the free trial version, you'll be redirected to an activation form where you'll need to enter some personal data and your credit card details. Then you'll receive an email with an activation code. To use it, you'll need to create a Spy Hunter account where you must enter the code to begin your free trial. If you directly opt to purchase the app, click buy, choose a subscription option, and enter our promotional code. Then select your preferred payment method and enter the required details. You'll soon receive an activation code in your email that you must enter in Spy Hunter to start using the app. Whichever option you choose, once Spy Hunter is active, just open it, select the scan option, and choose a full system scan. This can take some time depending on your PC and how much data is stored in it, but it's worth the wait. Once the scan is done and any potential rogue items are detected, click Next to check the scan details and then select Next again to let Spy Hunter take care of business. After that, the tool will likely ask you to restart your PC. For extra safety, it's a good idea to run a second scan, though by that time, your PC and browser should be like new. Now for the manual method. If you are still here, it's time to roll up your sleeves because this part will require a bit more effort on your end. Note that malware changes the names of its files and processes all the time, so I can't give you any specifics here. Therefore, you'll need to trust your own judgment when deciding what to delete. Alternatively, you can always opt for the automatic method mentioned earlier. First, you need to prepare. Begin by opening your Start menu, then search for Folder Options and go to the View tab. Select Show Hidden Files and Folders, click Apply, then OK. Next, I recommend downloading a small utility called Lock Hunter. It's a totally free tool that lets you delete files locked by malware. No ads, no registration, and it takes about two minutes to install. In case you haven't already tried it, I recommend that you first go to Apps and Features from the Start menu and look for suspicious recently installed items. Even if you don't spot the malware, you may notice something else that's unfamiliar or installed without your permission. Whatever you find, note down its name and uninstall it if you think it doesn't belong there. Just remember that the uninstallers of rogue apps will often try to trick you. Pay close attention to the wording of the uninstaller options. If you aren't careful, you may end up keeping the rogue app or replacing it with some other unwanted software. Also, it's usually best to restart your PC after you uninstall something, but in this particular case, I recommend against it. Instead, directly proceed to the next steps. Open the task manager and click more details if you are seeing the simplified version. Sort the processes by memory or CPU usage. Look out for anything using large amounts of resources without it being from a program you recognize. Note that malware rarely labels itself with its actual name. It might have an inconspicuous name like updater or service host, but if you think it looks strange and uses a ton of resources, it warrants further investigation. When you find a suspicious process, right-click it and choose open file location. If that folder and its contents look linked to the malware, everything there must go. Just select all items and try to delete them. If you get an error, right-click the item that's giving you trouble, select what's locking this folder, and use Lock Hunter to force delete it. Once the folder is gone, go back to Task Manager, write down the name of the malware process, and then click End Task. Now you must visit the system locations shown on the screen and delete any rogue files you may find there. Once again, you must rely on your own ability to discern files linked to the malware. Generally, look for names that seem off or ones related to programs or processes you removed in the earlier steps. When you get to the temp folder, just delete everything there. Emptying the temp folder is good practice in general, so you can't go wrong with that. Open Task Scheduler from the Start menu and check all tasks one by one. Focus on the Actions tab to see what each task is set to run. 
If a particular one is running something strange like an executable or some kind of script file, make a note of the file path and then delete the task itself. After that, go to the file path you wrote down and delete the file that the task was set to run. Type regedit into the start menu and hit enter to launch the registry editor. Click edit, then find and search for the name of any app you tried uninstalling earlier or any suspicious process you ended. Obviously, you can also search for the malware name, though this will often yield zero results. Each time it finds something, right-click the key on the left side and delete it. Then search again and delete again until there are no more results. Now manually check the following registry keys. In each one, look to the right and pay attention to the values. If any of them seem related to the malware, delete them but don't touch the actual key. Do this for each of the listed keys, and once you are done, the malware will hopefully be gone from your system. But in case you're still getting signs of infection, remember that Spy Hunter 5 is always there to help you clean your system.